students i welcome you to the next lecture of our course that is dms002 management functions it is a course of uh, certificate in ngo management in the previous previous lecture we had detailed discussion about marketing mix from social marketing perspective then we had discussed what are social media organizations we had understanding about their social marketing campaign uh, effectively utilized targeted towards uh, their target group which was basically for developing healthy and hygienic practices and then campaign for hiv aids and then uh, ment uh, maternal health and child health so they had they were, we had a detailed discussion about that then we had a common understanding about what are the different components of social marketing in the previous discussion we had also seen that the marketing mix for social marketing wherein we had our extended understanding about the marketing peak, marketing mix that is four p's to nine p's from product price promotion place we had moved to public purse strings and then passion all those policy these were the additional piece under social marketing so from that understanding now we move to our discussion for the next part that is basically what are the different challenges for ngo community so in this lecture we will be having discussion about that as an ngo community what are different challenges faced by them whether for not only ngo but for non profit organization as a whole set and the next discussion will be on we will be linking social marketing with corporate social responsibility that is csr so next discussion will be on social marketing and corporate social responsibility and the present lecture will be basically having our understanding about what are the different challenges which are faced by ngo community so let us start our discussion about challenges for ngo community so first challenge that an ngo would be facing a lot not we should concentrate for ngo community as for not for profit organization community ngo will be part of that so what are the challenges so first challenge that come to uh, our uh, thought process is identification and recruitment of qualified committed social marketers why because just we have seen our discussion about social marketing so social marketing campaign or programs it is required not only the skilled professional but also those professionals should have long term commitment and they should be compassionate passion for the social cause so whenever any ngo is recruiting people human resources for their organization for designing and implementation of social welfare programs they should be cautious for employing the right people with combined marketing skill so these people should have what kind of quality what are the skill set that uh, an ngo is looking for them so right people are urgently needed these people have both emotional and physical stamina they should have values values commitment on high that should be high on their agenda especially some of the ngo like they can take the example of wwf they have managed to create successful campaign because they had they had used skillful marketing techniques these are agencies that that uh, ngo can recruit for the having their regular marketing consultants or they can create social marketing campaigns for them or there could be another often option for the ngo that they can train their own committed staff through their services so identification and recruitment of qualified committed social marketer always the word is coming qualified and committed so one will be the right kind of skill that is required for running social marketing campaign and committed means long term commitment and passion for social cause so if these ingredients are available then the first purpose of identification and recruitment is successful you matlab particular organization is going to recruit right kind of the people having right kind of skill along with the compassion and commitment for the cause second in 
कैंपेन सोशल कैंपेन बिहेवियरल चेंज कैंपेन कम्युनिकेशन इज अ बिग चैलेंज सो सोशल मार्केटर शुड बी पैडलिंग विद सेंसिटिव सोशल इश्यूज दैट विल टेक टाइम टू कम्युनिकेट सो कम्युनिकेशन इज अ चैलेंज स्पेशली इन एन जी ओज और नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिकॉज दे आर डीलिंग विद द सोशल इश्यूज और लाइफ स्टाइल चेंज और बिहेवियरल चेंज द सोशल मार्केटिंग डीलिंग विद स्पेशली द कैंपेन फॉर एड्स और एच आई वी ट्रांसमिशन दे हैव टू बी एक्स्ट्रा कॉशियस ओके देन फॉर रनिंग दिस कैंपेन दे कैन थिंक दैट हाउ इंटेंसिव कैंपेन दे कैन लॉन्च विद द पब्लिक बिकॉज वॉट आर द सेंसिटिव एरियाज दैट दे नीड टू अवॉइड फॉर लॉन्चिंग सच काइंड ऑफ कैंपेन वॉट विल बी द डिफरेंट परसेप्शंस when they long this particular campaign and how long it will take how much time it will take for changing the perception of the people and then what are the other questions which may be very important while dealing with such kind of communication campaign then an ngo need to have developed communication strategies which is carefully developed and with the help of professional communication agencies because the entire success of social marketing campaign rests on communication strategy so one need not to uh, land up in any kind of trouble especially with respect of their communication or let's say communication channel so it is advised especially for the ngos and not for profit organization that they should develop comprehensive communication strategy which is carefully drafted carefully developed and it should take the help of professional communication agencies let us take the example of wwf wwf is an ngo which is international ngo which is committed for environmental conservation so they are new they have they have utilized very different communication language and communication channel especially talking about environmental conservation so we were talking about wwf we were giving the example especially when we are having discussion about communication as a challenge wwf is basically a leading ngo which is its work is basically directed towards environmental conservation and they have developed new communication languages which deals about talking discussion or creating awareness about environmental conservation so this these examples can be taken by the ngos when they are thinking about developing a communicational media strategy for their social marketing campaign the next challenge for the ngo is basically resources and most most uh, challenging one will be mobilizing the finances because social marketers they face same challenge as they face by the commercial marketers and one of the challenge is that they have to keep a substantial amount of money for social marketing campaign so challenging the the most challenge will uh, for especially social marketers or ngo will be having financial resources for running sustained sustained social marketing campaign another challenge that they face is that lack of strategic planning sometimes very good idea uh, come to their mind but they can create confusion also and those idea can deviate certain organization from their initial goal and sometimes these good ideas don't always remain in the line with the ngo so what happens so need for strategic planning is very much required for such organization which are into social marketing campaign and who are which are those organization basically ngos and not for profit organization so when any new idea comes uh, to the picture for enhanced understanding or for diversifying the social cause or welfare services for the ngo they should think that whether this idea is not creating any kind of confusion and deviating uh, their activities their objectives from their initial goal and secondly sometimes these good ideas will be very attractive but whether they are remain in the line with the ngos overall objective their mission their vision their objectives whether it is matching with them or not because if they are not matching then they will have to diversify their respective activities and they should not match with their strategic planning so another bigger challenge for the ngo would be or ngo community will be 
lack of strategic planning then the third problem or challenge major challenge that i feel would be for having absence of strategic partnership and networking there could be many reasons for that because suppose because if the cause is famous famous it may be possible that for clean drinking water health and hygiene and maternal and child health these are the common areas where many ngos must be working so ngo may believe that if they collaborate or they become closer to other ngo or not for profit organization which are working in the similar domain so it may create an some kind of competition for applying for the grant this i can cite another example suppose an ngo is a very small ngo which is working towards uh, let's say health and hygiene and there may be other ngos which are very big in their operations maybe from the national perspective they are launching their program and this particular ngo that i am giving the case will be a small ngo working in particular let's say few districts so uh, they might feel that if they want to collaborate on forge any strategic partnership with the bigger ngo that may basically hamper them for their prospects for getting grants for their welfare program so this 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 kind of uh, issue can come to their mind secondly making use of technology can also help them for making networks within their own space they can they can also think for that so first of that first of all they should not think that while collaborating or forging a strategic partnership can create any kind of competition for applying for the grants uh, for their welfare program or social cause program and secondly today today in the today's uh, uh, environment where social media is playing a very vital role so they can use the help of social media campaign or uh, ICT based technology for developing network with similar NGOs who are which are working in the same domain so they can use uh, these these strategies for developing collaboration or strategic partnership with similar NGOs okay so having this discussion what we find is that that for the NGO communities the biggest challenge will be first which what should be the social marketing agency that they should hire so when they are going for hiring uh, this is one of the biggest challenge one of the challenges for the NGO community is identification and recruitment of committed qualified social marketing agency so social marketing agency when they are hiring so NGO should keep in mind that they are selecting the people having the right skill set plus two essential component one is passion and second is long term commitment as we have seen in our previous discussion social marketing process or social marketing campaign is a sustained time consuming activity so one has to be patient enough so the people required or the agency recruited by the ngo should have the people with right set, right skill set and they can combine their marketing skills and secondly they should have uh, compassion and commitment for the social cause the people that they are recruiting or ngo is recruiting they should have emotional and physical stamina and social cause value value dimension should be high on their agenda especially the organization which is being hired by the ngos or social marketing organization which is used for cause of the ngo for the media campaign or for the ngo or not for profit organization there may be possible that there are some agencies which uh, which are developing the regular market which are having uh, as a regular marketing consultant or agencies for creating their campaign so what they should do is they should they should either train their own committed staff with the help of these agencies and get their services or they can take completely the services of such social marketing organization for running their social uh, social marketing campaign the second is that 
second biggest challenge that we have discussed and again i am bringing to for your uh, enhanced understanding is communication communication is the biggest challenge in social marketing campaign especially launched by the ngos or not for profit organization because the cause is social cause welfare services so sometimes there are some some idea or some issues that you are going to address that needs very careful communication especially dealing with the aids hiv uh, transmission and when dealing with these aids or communication then one has to see with the social perspective religious and cultural perspective while dealing with such social marketing campaign then uh, an ngo has to see that what will be the channel of communication what will be the frequency of the communication how this communication would be dealing with the sensitive areas whether that should be included or that should be avoided how long they can go for uh, such a uh, social marketing campaign so that they can they can find some change perception valuable uh, some significant change in the perception beliefs attitude behavior of the individual so these are the some difficult questions that needs to be answered while devising a communication protocol especially for social marketing programs and dealing with the social cause and for the ngos or not for profit organization communication strategies should be developed with the help of professional communication agencies and they should take the they should cite an example of wwf which has used different and new communication languages while they were talking about conservation of environment in the uh, domain of the public the third challenge that an ngo would be facing would be about channelizing the resources especially the finances so whether they can go for uh, uh, developing a kind of strategic partnership so that they can channelize their or rather convert their financial resources for combined social marketing campaign this may be possible when more than two ngos are basically working in similar direction maybe uh, one ngo would be working for uh, hygienic health practices another one is uh, contributing towards removing drinking habits or the danger of smoking and drinking so these two ideas may be directing towards similar target market similar market segment so market segment is similar ideas and the communication channel may be similar but the way they are addressing it might be different so it may be possible that uh, ngos which are working in these uh, working to address these issues they should forge a strategic partnership they can channelize contribute their financial resources and develop a cost effective social marketing campaign where the communication is addressed to the similar target group but it is basically uh, addressing different social issues target group may be same but the communication may be different one could be addressing for harmful effect of the smoking another could be directing towards harmful effect of drinking and the third would be for health and hygiene practices so these are uh, thing these are the areas where they can direct their communication or social marketing campaign when we are dealing with health and hygiene practices then the any another ngo which is working towards hiv or hiv transmission or aids then they can also channelize but there is a caution because when we are dealing with the cam uh, campaign dealing with the hiv or uh, hiv transmission or aids then communication language the target group the socio economic profile of the target group has to be seen before launching their communication campaign and the fourth challenge that an ngo or not for profit organization would be facing would be lack of strategic planning because any new idea any new goal they may, that may come up for their attention for diversifying their resources for working for a social cause or welfare programs but it may be possible that the new goal may create confusion and they may deviate uh the ngo or not for profit organization from their initial objective it may be possible that some good ideas come because ideas always good ideas always come with the strategic partnership collaboration but it may be possible that that idea may be very interesting but not fitting into the vision mission and objective of an ngo 
so an ngo has to decide an ngo has to decide whether the new idea or the new social belief or the change lifestyle perspective or behavioral change that they are targeting whether it is in the line with the objective mission and vision of the ngo or not so strategic planning is very essential and lack of strategic planning is one of the biggest challenge that is being faced by ngo community and the fifth that i have just previously discussed that when the ngos have to channelize their resources so channelizing their resources there is a need for collaboration and strategic partnership and generally it has been observed that in the ngo community there is a absence of strategic partnership and networking because ngo may believe that when they forge a strategic partnership or collaboration with similar ngos it may be uh, it may create a kind of competition for applying for the grant means the prospect of when ngo might hamper the prospect of another ngo if they are working in the same directions i mean in the same uh, target uh, target area segmented area of the market where they are addressing or channelizing their resources for their social welfare program or services so this may hamper their chances for getting grants from the donor external donor it may be possible that ngos getting grants from the similar donors may avoid developing a strategic partnership but another aspect is that when you forge a strategic partnership with similar ngos working in the similar directions where the goals are matching because with this partnership on collaboration you are basically channelizing your resources so resource mobilization it will be economize your resources and you can the the fund which is left with you can be divert, directed towards other activities of the ngo and they should uh, make use of all those advances in technology or social media for developing enhanced marketing campaign because your social marketing campaign will also attract other ngos which are working in similar direction and they might be interested uh, with your ngo for uh, having any strategic partnership for running their programs so students in this lecture we had discussion about uh, what are the different challenges which are being faced by uh, ngos or not for profit organization with this this particular session will be over and we will move to the next lecture that will be after this lecture that lecture will be basically on discussion having how social marketing is related to corporate social responsibility so i wait for uh, uh, your enhanced understanding and discussion in our next topic that will be social marketing and corporate social responsibility till then bye